Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a home decor idea that I saw and was inspired by in the annual catalog. Let me show you what it looks like. It's here on page 96, and it's with the Expressions and in Ink um, suite of products. And I was inspired by this cute little decoration that they made um, as part of as part of their flat lay. I thought it was so cute, and I loved it. So I wanted to recreate that um, and maybe put my own little spin on it. And then I kept going and I kept playing and I used different product and I think they turned out super fun. So I wanted to show you them. So let me grab. This is the one that I did using that Expressions in Ink Suite. So cute. So I realized as I was making it that they probably cut down their back piece of designer series paper. I think they must have used it as an 8x8 instead of the 12x12, which is what I did. I decided this um, would match my niece's bedroom super well, um, so I asked my sister a cute, what cute saying she'd want, and we chose this Bloom with Grace because the cute flowers here, and I thought it turned out so cute. And they can just take it and hang it on their wall, just like this. So cute. I love that. So then I thought, okay, what other product do I want to make a cute wall hanging with? So of course I had to choose the peach bundle. Here it is. So I did sweet as a peach and then I cut out, I stamped and cut out a bunch of these peaches from that stamp set. So cute. And I love this designer series paper. So fun. And I thought, um, Peaches are actually super trending right now when it comes to like little girls' nurseries. Like I've, I've seen a lot of people um, decorating their little baby girls' nurseries with peaches. And I thought, how cute would this be? Sweet as a peach hanging in a little nursery. So that was my inspiration for that. So cute. Love it, love it. Okay, and then I wanted to do something a little different. Um, before I show you it though, I want to show you how I lined up these words, these sayings, and how um, I, I just want to give you a little tip on that because um, sometimes it can be a little tricky to get those straight. So I am going to pull in here. First of all, I'm going to show you what I use to do the letters. So I use the Playful Alphabet dies. I really, really love this die set and I use it for a lot of different things. Um, it's a great way to get um, a fun word on a card or, and it's just a really great size. Um, so I used that and then I also used our foam adhesive sheets. So they, they basically give your letters dimension so that they'll pop, pop up off the page. So on these foam adhesive sheets, this is how they come in a little square like this. And each of the sides has a little wax piece and, um, and it's sticky on both sides. So you're gonna peel back one of the sides and I don't wanna peel the whole thing cause I'm just gonna show you on this little piece of paper. And then you just stick your um, cardstock right on there like that, okay? And then you'll take, we'll do a T. You're gonna take a letter and you'll lay it on top of the cardstock and then run it through your die cutting machine. Super simple, super easy, and they cut out really, really well. So that's how I got these. And you can see, you can see my um, saying on this one is, you grow, girl. <laughs> I'll show you why it says that in just a minute. I wanted to show you how I line these up. So I take my stamp and trimmer and this is actually a tip that I saw Sarah share in um, a video that she did on Facebook. So um, I was really grateful for that because it helped me to be able to line my things up better. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of DSP. Um, 
whichever size you're gonna do, and you're gonna line it up right in the corner. So against this side and against the bottom, okay? And then you're going to take a little piece of cardstock. I have mine cut to a half inch because that's how far apart I want my um, words to be on my paper. You could do a three quarters of an inch or a quarter of an inch, just depending on how far apart you want the letters. So I have already put down my U. All I did was I lined up this edge of my cardstock with the edge here. So I know that that line is going to be straight, okay? So I lined that up and then I already peeled off the backing to the, to the letters for U and I stuck them down. So next what I'm gonna do is the word grow. So I like to kind of line up where I want them to be before I'm ready to adhere them down just a general idea, just like that. So I know kind of where I'm going to be placing them. And then I'll start with the W and you just come and you peel the backing off like a sticker and you're just gonna put it down. And you're going to use that cardstock as a guideline of where you're going to place your letter, just like that, okay? And then we'll move on to the O and we'll just work our way backward and making sure that you're keeping your designer series paper and your little piece of cardstock flush with the sides and the bottom there. And our R, just like that. And finally our G, just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna take my little piece of cardstock and I'm gonna move it up to underneath the grow, just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna come and do the same thing with girl. And that way I know that not only are my letters going to be straight because I have the guideline, but I also know they're gonna have the same distance in between each of my words. So that makes my perfectionist heart happy. <laughs> so let me show you the finished product here. I wanted to use the Plentiful Plants bundle and make a cute little, um, framed picture here. So it says, you grow girl. And I made this, I have a, a good friend who loves plants and she is a green thumb. So I'm going to give this to her as a gift. So I have had so much fun playing with this, um, this idea. I was so inspired by what was in the annual catalog. If you look through that catalog, there's always an idea for you to recreate or, um, or to copy completely. So make sure you have one. If you don't and you want one, make sure you email us at sudemonstrator at gmail.com. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.